So, this is the garage where he does his magic of making things. So, you've already taken in the measurements. Um, and this is what part of the platform? I'm going to build it in basically two panels that are welded. And then we'll take the panels and bolt them together with spacers in the middle and then hold it up on legs. And some of it's going to be bolted, some of it's going to be welded because you can't slip the whole thing in there and have it fit the bed in one piece. At least the way I want to do it. Why not? It won't fit. Oh, okay. Just too much of a pain in the ass to put it in there. Mm. Okay. So what part is this specifically? This is going to be the passenger side truck bed panel. It's going to go over the wheel well. We're going to make it about 10 inches off the bed, give or take, so that it fits all the boxes and the tent and a bunch of stuff can go underneath the platform. That'll be good. Then you're going to make how many of these? Two? Two of these. And then one piece that goes in the middle? Nope, just crossbars that get bolted up in the middle. Okay. So at this point, then, actually seeing a drawing or something like that would be helpful. Sure. Okay. Right. Okay. So this is a drawing, not to scale, <laughs> of the truck bed and how we're going to make this. So yep. Rough ideas. Usually I fabricate things kind of on the fly. Um, but I need to cut things to fit, so, so this is where I start. These are the wheel walls. Yep. And there's the driver's side, there's the passenger side, the cab. Uh, and the overall inside length, width. Right. Yep. That's it. Simple. Okay. And then why are these like separated like this? Um, I was thinking about making separate panels and bolting it together, but it seemed a little too too time consuming to assemble it. So I modified my plan in my head. So now it's just going to be a 24 inch piece to a crossbar and then probably these crossbars in between each panel and they bolt up so that I can bolt plywood to it. Um, and I want to open these up to have hinged panels so, so you can get to these compartments forward. Oh cool, so we can actually open them up. Yes. Nice. Yeah, this is hopefully the final rendition of, of the platform that we're going to use for a while. Instead of cobbling things together. Right, because we had a wood platform in yeah. Tigger original version. Not a pain in the ass. <laughs> and the wood bowed, and there was all kinds of problems, and we couldn't ever get into it. And yeah, and it was never flat, out. and yeah. Never flat. But it gave me ideas to do it right. Correct. Using so steel tubing it's going to be lighter than the wood frame it's going to be more durable and um it's going to be a little more rigid so mostly it's lighter cool we didn't have sound on that whole time that's awesome sauce <laughs> okay then <laughs> well we may have had sound from the camera that's possible we'll find out <laughs> Anyway, as we were saying, um, just welded those pieces together that were clamped together previously, right? So, yep. It's called tacking. You tack weld stuff together so that it doesn't move. And then finish welding when you're ready to make sure everything's permanent. Mm -hmm. um, 
So I just tack together one side and it looks good. But got to make sure I have enough copy. Right. Let's knock the slag off. Not really good welds, but it'll work. It's not a bridge. And then the trick now is to do the same thing on the other side. Yep. So you just changed the temperature on the weld thing. Yes. Why? You said it was a little cold. What do you mean it's a little cold? Um, depending on what, depending on the cross section you're trying to heat welding, uh -huh. the amount of amperage is what generally gives you your heat. Uh, so you need to change uh, temperature sometimes or you need more amperage or less amperage. Uh, with this butt weld here, uh, I need a little more amperage because I was in the corner. The cross section was a little different. So I uh, just turned it up like five amps. That's it. Okay, cool. And I'm gonna re redo this tax. Because we're here. Why are you gonna redo the tax? Because they're ugly. Because <laughs> they look like doo doo. What do you mean? I mean, I don't know. Well, that's actually the term is poodle poop. They look like dog turds. <laughs> Just little clumps where a dog got sick and had, you know, a bad day. <laughs> and yeah, and just left it along in, you know, so. <laughs> okay. It'll only take a minute. <laughs>